Wiremac Duo wire binding punch. Main advantage of this machine is it has a 3 to 1 and 2 to 1 punch integrated into the same unit so it gives you a lot of flexibility that way. It has selectable punch pins on the 3 to 1 and 2 to 1 punch, ideal for when you're doing odd paper sizes, not standard A4 and A5. To disengage them you simply just pull them out and that is that punch pin disengage. It stops you getting uh, half a hole at the end which looks horrible and quite unprofessional. Another nice advantage of this machine is the guide at the bottom. It clearly shows 2 to 1 and 3 to 1 pitch wires. What you would do is you would pick up the stock you're about to bind. You would place it into a slot here. The one in which it fits, that one it's a bit tight on the 5 sixteenths. It fits about correct on the 3 8 so there you know you need to use a 3 8 wire and you can adjust the closer from there. The closer is simply adjusted by this little hand wheel at the side. You just wheel it along. I'll keep them going all the way to the 3 8 which is indicated there. On this one we're going to do A4 so what I'm going to do is deselect the last punch pin obviously so I don't get half a hole. Knock up your work. I'm going to use a 3 to 1 wire. Quick difference between the two. This is a 3 to 1. This is a 2 to 1. That's 3 holes per inch and then 2 holes per inch. 3 to 1 are normally used for binding smaller booklets. You just slide the wire onto the, the catch at the, the end. So if you're doing a small pile to a large pile, all holes are in there. You slide your book in to the side stop. Pull it down, place it on your wire, okay, then what you do is you slide it up to close it, the final feature, place it in flat, close the book, so you get a nice even close all the way along, gives you a nice finished product at the end. I'll show you a couple of nice little features about this and the difference between the 2 to 1 and 3 to 1. Like I've shown you, you slide it in. There's your 3 to 1 punch there. See, there's 3 holes per inch. And then the 2 to 1, what is normally used, same principle. I'll disengage the last punch pin. Slide it in, hold the other handle behind. Do my 2 to 1. Obviously you can quite clearly see the difference between the two. The 2 to 1 is mainly used for the larger binding method, 3 to 1 for smaller. Another nice little feature of this machine is this locating pin here. What this allows you to do is punch oversized work. So I'll show you kind of how it works. Okay, If we were to say, if this was an A3 sheet instead of an A4, what you do is you slide it in, it locates on a punch bin, it locates on a, a hole that's already punched and therefore you can do the rest of your punch in the same principle just by pulling it down. That's the Wimac Duo. Very flexible, very easy to work. All chippings are caught underneath in the chip tray as well.